Oh, look, I brought booze. Keepies, I mean, tears. Hello there, humans. I am Dal Cecil Bruno, the partially blind alien from a distant galaxy who is an own voices author. And today I'm coming at you with a book review. That's why the booze, by the way. Um, uh, by, I am of age. I am allowed to drink. If you're a minor, please, it's not legal. Don't drink. I am not influencing you to do that. I can do it because I can do whatever I want because I'm already 20 something. Anyway, another disclaimer. This book review belongs to a fellow author tuber. And this book review is very likely to be a positive one. I am not going to give a positive review just because this person is an online buddy or an online friend. What happened here is that I'm broke. I purchased this book. And when I purchase books for support, like I want to support the fellow AuthorTube community. And uh, I, the thing is, there are many options to choose from. And this one was one that I was like, okay, it kind of matches with my taste. So I'm pretty sure I might like this. And that's why I bought it. If you want me to give you an ARC review, even though it's not my genre, even though it's not something that I would pick up by myself, if you want to me to read your arc in order to get an honest review, whether I liked it or not, whether I was your target audience or not, let me know and I might do that. But in this case, I am very wise with my money in the sense that I'm not going to buy uh, an erotica knowing that it's really not something I want to read. Okay? Nothing against authors of erotica is just not my genre it's not something i will enjoy so this is why you're not going to see many book reviews of that genre here now that that got out of the way let's get on with the book review in itself cheers queen of swords and silence is an urban fantasy about a valkyrie <clears throat> a special valkyrie who's a little bit damaged and in a turn of events, magic is disappearing from the world and Ghost, together with her very snarky companion sword, Silence, will get involved in this quest to save magic from disappearing and, I don't know, she will make friends along the way and, yeah, it's... I am not very good with this kind of hero's journey synopsis thing. Check the blurb, it's really cool. First star, did I want to put the book down, yes or no? Um, objectively, no. Subjectively, personalized, yes, because I had to read with the silly voice narrator text-to-speech thingy, because this book is a debut novel, she's a debut author, there's no audiobook available, blah, blah, blah. I had to buy the ebook and deal with the robot. And it's not very pretty, so after a few amounts of chapters, like, certain amount of chapters I have to, you know, take a break. But that is not Carol's writing fault. It's not her fault at all, so that's just... Mm. There was one chapter, though, which was very subjective, because this book is a mix of so many mythologies. There's a lot of mythical creatures from all over the world. I love that. I'm gonna go into details later. But I love that. And there was one chapter, though, that uh, suddenly vampires are a thing, and I'm not a fan of vampires. I, it's really not my thing, maybe because I have a terrible first impression from... Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna go there. Anyway, I was like, okay, I don't like where this is going, and I took a break from the book. Also, my life was hectic. I had a lot of things to do, so I took a break. But I took it again. Like, I... I, I retook the reading and like it was like what chapter 15 I don't regret for a second that I picked it up again I I'm very happy I didn't want to put it down once I picked it up again I once I forgot that vampires were a thing and yeah it, that's totally subjective and it does not take away the fact that I didn't want to put this book down while I was like reading it, it it's really a page turner I, I have to say this is a case of a page turner if you like urban fantasy, if you're a fellow pagan, if you like mythology, if you like 
this kind of global scale books because this book didn't stay in a small place in a small town and in a small country it didn't stay in one place it went all over so i didn't want to put it down i wanted to see what was coming next one star count the stars there goes one definitely for sure keep this one star let's talk about the characters ghost or troikrakr that <clears throat> don't try to pronounce that i am just sold on this idea that this character has icelandic origins I'm sold. I'm sold. I want more. I want to see more from Ghost. I I hope there are more books to come because this was really good. And I love the character, her personality, her traits, her quirks, everything. She was a fully developed character. I felt she could maybe be my friend. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe she will eat me. I don't know. And anyway, I loved her. Silence was absolutely hilarious. I love David as well. I like David had so like uh, quite a few like quotable things like that these things have to become quotes or something i i loved it i loved everything there were the supporting cast i loved everyone i didn't have a, i didn't have a problem with anyone in this book actually yeah the villain was what it had to be i'm just gonna say i loved every single one of the characters i loved how they developed i loved their interactions their relationships I loved that it didn't feel forced. <clears throat> I don't want to spoil anything, but there, all the interactions that I encountered in this book, they did not feel forced. They, it was awesome. I loved every single thing about the characters. Now let's go to structure. Here, I have to mention something. Oh, 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 two stars. Yeah, count the stars. I'm so excited. Two stars, count the stars. Um, yeah, it's Halloween, if I didn't mention that already. Blessed Samhain, this is why I'm so happy, this is why I'm reviewing it on, on this special date, because, yeah, I'm, I'm a happy happy alien, happy pagan alien. I celebrate Samhain, so as soon as I'm done with this book review, I'm going to go out and have fun. Yeah. Let's talk about structure now, please. Uh, st Structure-wise, uh, I remember when she had her book lounge, and she was reading the first chapter of the book so it was a human voice nice thank you for that detail carol and it's up it's up in her channel if you want to check it out if you want to listen to the first chapter i'm going to link the video in the cards there you go and i i listened to it but the thing is the first chapter didn't really grab me that much because i had a kind of weird first impression i thought it was going to be one of those books that stays in one place because it started like it started in the US and I know Caro lives in the US and I thought okay it's one it's gonna be one of those it's gonna be one of those that stays in the same place oh I was so wrong I was so so wrong and I'm glad I was because I was like okay I'm gonna give this book a try because I know it's about a Valkyrie and I know that it, there's some Norse mythology involved and I know it's gonna be cool so I'm gonna give it a go anyway and I went up with chapter 2 and then 3. And when I realized I was in chapter 7, and I was like, whoa! I said, yeah, it's a page turner. The structure didn't feel predictable. I loved it. I remember in one of her videos, she said she's not an easy to please reader. And it shows because her writing is not predictable. It's not one of those stories that you're like, eh, okay, and the villain attacks. and eh. it's, it's not one of those. It's really entertaining. It's not, I didn't see it coming. I didn't, there were things that I suspected, but I wasn't sure. Or like, I wanted something to happen and then it didn't happen. Or then the book took a different turn. And this is the thing, the book goes everywhere. And I am so happy. I'm so happy to be wrong. I'm, like the first impression was totally not what I was expecting later. Like the book goes from one country to another to one dimension to another because she, uh, ghost lives in the underworld with vanya the guardian of the wealth knowledge you know for those who don't follow norse mythology it's based on norse mythology because ghost ghost is icelandic kind of um, well it, she she is a creature of the norse mythology that's better said Anyway, I loved it. There is also some Celtic mythology involved in this book. If you're familiar with the Morrigans, yep, they're here. And yeah, so I loved it. I loved it. 
because yeah, I am familiar with both the Norse and the Celtic pantheons, and I'm like, yay, my people! And <laughs> so I am very happy that this book kept me very well entertained. When I picked up the thing after the vampire thing that I mentioned, when I picked it up again in chapter 15, I became really emotional. I'm not gonna spoil, now you know chapter 15 has something emotional, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go into details, I'm not going to say things. I'm just going to ramble and gush about this book because it really had me fangirling all over it. And uh, I had to be careful not to bother Carol so much with all my fangirling because, no. That I don't want to be this annoying person. <laughs> anyway, that's the problem of knowing the author. If I love the book, I'm like, I love your book! I love your book! Ah! And it's just, yeah, uh, you know, take a drink. <laughs> so, as you can hear from all my gushing and fangirling, the structure also gets a three stars. There was a lot in this book. A lot of things happened. It's very entertaining. It's a page turner. It's interesting. It's not only based on Norse mythology, it's not only based on one thing. There are creatures from all over the world. It's a book that acknowledges that the whole world exists, which I don't see very often, and I wish I, I saw very often, because I am that kind of person who is like a citizen of the world, because that's what I am. And, uh, and yeah, I'm an alien. I landed on this planet. I want to learn every single thing about this planet. And I felt that in this book. I felt it in the structure. I felt how the the writer is definitely a well a well traveled person. I can say that because it shows. It it really shows. <sighs> Moving on, the writing. This oh, oh, three stars. Yeah, count it. It's, it's, it's on screen, right? Yeah, a doll from the future is editing this thing and going... Stop drinking. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Four stars, uh, three, three stars. Gah. Not even half the bottle and you're already like this. Ooh. The writing. Here is where I have to really give props. Because the characters had voice, like they really sounded like individuals, like it, they didn't sound the same. And for me to say that, when there's no audiobook, when the narrator is a robot, and you still know who is talking, and you still get angry when you should, and you cry when you should, my god, and, and you laugh when you should, it's like... Carol really mustered that. She did it. She totally nailed it. I feel like, why aren't more people paying attention to this book? I'm not saying that this book is a literary gem and oh my god, the prose was so beautiful and whoa. No, it was accessible. It was easy to read. It was a page turner. The characters had a voice. So it's very trendy. It is very like matching with our times there were beautiful thoughts here and there beautiful phrases quotes it was all in all it was great and i liked the fact that i could follow it with a narrator non-human narrator artificial voice narrator whatever you want to call that thing i never know how to call that thing the robot you know what from now on it's called the robot but the robot read this book for me and I loved every single second of it except the chapter about the vampires because I'm not a fan of vampires. I'm sorry! I'm sorry for the fellow writers who write about vampires. I, I still like you! It's just that that's not an aspect of mythology that I'm a fan of because I just have a terrible impression. <coughs> Twilight. <coughs> Let's take a moment to appreciate how noisy the traffic is. <laughs> Let's take a moment to appreciate how nice the writing of this book was, the, the voices of the characters, the, the quirks of the characters. Like, you can tell Ghost is really old because she she has lingo from all over the place. It's interesting. It, 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 it gave me the feeling that she's been here for a long time now. And that's, what it, that, that's the case. She's been here for a while. And I love that. Like, it's so well developed. I, feel like I could totally hang out with her. Anyway, I love the care. I, I, I'm going back to the characters because the writing 
was so much interconnected with the characters. I, I don't, I, ah, I should not make book reviews drinking because I shouldn't because where is my alcohol tolerance these days? Apparently it just doesn't exist anymore. Anyway, <clears throat> Also, I haven't had my lunch yet. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people who read fantasy and urban fantasy have to pick up this book. I have nothing else to say. It has four stars. The writing was superb. I loved it. You can read it with a, vo with a robotic voice and you'll still enjoy it. Granted. Believe me, I'm blind. I have no choice but to d listen to a robot, so... Pick it up, people! It's good. And now the fifth star is completely subjective, and if, if I haven't convinced you yet that I am a fan of this book, <clears throat> it, gets a it, 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 gets, it gets five stars, I don't care. It's, yeah, I, the vampire thing is not going to detract from my fangirling of this book. I loved it, every single bit of it. I mean... I, I really don't want to spoil. If, if you're bored of me gushing, click away. Click away because I want to gush just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, yes. I mean, the fact that, the fact that Ratatoskir is the familiar for Ghost, it becomes her familiar. If you don't know what, who Ratatoskir is, is the god of gossip. It's this little squirrel being thing that moves all across Yggdrasil, the tree of life. Uh, yeah, and ah, it's a, she took things. She took things from Norse belief and put it into a book, and it and she made it awesome. And also, she created monsters of her own. This other world, the, the outsiders or the outlanders or something like that. What was it? Part like the others or something like that. I don't know, like. I don't remember the word right now because I read this book a few weeks ago. I just didn't have time to review it, but she created monsters of her own. She em embraced a global um, paganism beliefs. Like, it, I just... Arrow! Cheers to you and blessed Samhain and all the... If you celebrate Samhain, I don't know if you do that. I, I don't know if you're a pagan at all. Man. She just did a great amount of research. If she's pagan or not pagan, I cannot tell because it was great, it was amazing, I loved it, every single bit of this book. I'm still fangirling and I think I'm going to just finish the bottle and fangirl alone. Oh. Pick up the book, support a fellow author tuber, please, it's amazing. If you like urban fantasy, just pick it up. If you like Valkyries, just pick it up. If you like vampires, pick it up. If you like snarky swords that try to create haiku poetry, Pick it up. If you like the representation of all kind, pick it up. Please, just pick it up, okay? And I'll see you in my next video. Keepies. Uh, no, wait. Uh, what was the other one? Yeah, cheers. Uh, slanty. Uh, salud. Sante. Uh, ting ting. And whatever. Just cheers. Pick it up.